Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is April 16th, 2019. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day indeed. I want to talk more about this Venezuela situation because it is extremely dangerous. Uh, and uh, when you're not getting information from me, all right, you need to look up a couple people. One of them being uh, Endgame World War III on Twitter because that guy uh, has been on top of it uh, when it comes to the whole Venezuela situation. So all the latest news uh, coming out of that region, um, he will put out, all right? Um, so make sure to follow his page uh, because, uh, I mean, he's, he's just all over it, all right? Um, but Venezuela, I talked about last night how uh, it looked like the U.S. is getting ready for uh, military intervention uh, within Venezuela, right? Um, there's reports suggesting that the Pentagon is actively... Uh, coming up with plans to deter uh, Russia, Cuba, uh, China inside of Venezuela, all right? Um, now, we've been talking about Venezuela for quite some time now, and my personal opinion uh, was that uh, once, you know, I, I thought they missed the boat, you know? I thought they missed the boat on the whole uh, uh, military intervention uh, situation just because Russia uh, has troops inside Venezuela. But according to reports, according to secret meetings happening in D.C. and U.S. officials blatantly just coming out, uh, these Russian troops, it, it doesn't matter if they're there. The U.S. will still go ahead with military strikes into Venezuela if need be. You know, And I feel like people are not taking this situation too seriously. All right. Um, and let me, let me list some reasons why I believe it's serious. Okay. Uh, let's you know, get, get the big one out of the, out of the way, uh, confrontation with Russia. All right. Because this doesn't just mean confrontation with Russia in Venezuela. We're talking about Eastern Europe as well. All right. We're talking about Russia and Ukraine. We're talking about Russia right on the Baltic States. Okay, we know there's been military movement. There's been different snap drills uh, around the Baltic area to confront Russian aggression. Um, but you know, then you got to talk about Syria. Then you got to talk about Israel's ties uh, with Russia. Then you got to talk about uh, Turkey's ties with Russia because we've talked about how Turkey, uh, a supposed native NATO member, has been uh, aligning itself with Russia way more than the United States of America. Okay. Uh, so it's not just facing Russia head-on in Venezuela, all right? That is, that is small compared to the global impact that it could have, all right? Uh, and I believe people are just not taking that seriously, okay? Uh, this could be a domino effect. We talk about flashpoints all the time, all right? Uh, and if the U.S. goes ahead with a military uh, intervention into Ve Venezuela, Will Putin, will Russia uh, sit idly by? Will Russian troops get out of the way as U.S. officials have come out and stated that they need to do? Just get out of the way. When we hit Venezuela, just, just get out of the way. I don't think that occurs. Okay? We've heard about secret meetings happening in D.C. Uh, with very powerful people. Very powerful officials. We've heard of different coalitions being, being brought together to face uh, Venezuela to face Maduro. And now Maduro uh, is increasing his military uh, by one million strong, one million para, para, uh, paramilitary force, because I believe he, he knows that something is coming. All right? You, you got to ask yourself, okay, with this situa situation with Venezuela, let's just say you're a skeptic, okay? Uh, it's just, you know, roll with me here. Um, we've put into power uh, Juan Guaido. Right, Guaido. I always screw up his name. Someone, someone in the comment section will lose their shit that I'm saying his name wrong. Um, we we went through all of this, all of this, all the sanctions, putting in this interim president. I mean, we're in too deep. It would be a massive foreign policy failure in the United States' eyes if we just gave up. You know, the uh, average Joe in America. Uh, they hear about Venezuela, they just automatically think, oh, socialism, and then that's the end of the discussion. 
They don't know about this interim president. They don't know about military movements south of our border. They don't know. They don't know about the commander of Southern Command saying, "Hey, we're just waiting for the green light. We're just waiting for the green light." If U.S. military strikes happen today, happen today in Venezuela, the mass majority of the population of the United States uh, would be baffled. They probably would be looking for answers. Why? Because they have no idea what's going on down there. They have no idea of the meetings being uh, being taken place, or the reports coming out, or the plans by the Pentagon to deter Russia and China and Cuba. Now, we are hearing of more sanctions coming this Wednesday against uh, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, uh, a list of different countries that are all doing business with Maduro and Venezuela. All right? Very fresh news that I talked about yesterday. Uh, Iran is offering to send troops to Venezuela as well. Uh, it has not been made clear whether or not uh, Venezuela will accept that, just because if they are trying to avoid a military confrontation, uh, having Iranian troops in Venezuela is not going to help that situation. And you got to think about if they do, that's an even that's even a bigger flashpoint. Uh, you know, if Russia has troops there, Iran has troops there. Um, and we strike, what happens? You have to, you have to look at, uh, you have to look at, at the dots, you know? Look at, look at all of this as a big room full of dominoes, you know? Very serious situation I feel like people are not taking seriously. Um, yeah, I have no predictions of when this will occur. I'm not going to put out predictions because I, I, you know, I don't do that, all right? Uh, but what I do know is currently this situation is very tense. It's very, it's very severe. I think that we should uh, keep ourselves uh, very vigilant with this situation, especially with all these uh, meetings that are going on with U.S. officials, uh, even more so coming out blatantly, uh, being very brash and stating, you know, the U.S. military force is going to be used. It needs to be used. The U.S. has stated as much. They've stated that uh, the ch a change of regime, a change of power in Venezuela is going to happen. It's just whether it happens peacefully or not. And I see no reason for this to happen peacefully. You know, Maduro was given his chance months ago to get on a plane and uh, go to Cuba. He didn't take it. To think that this will end peacefully uh, does not make much sense to me. All right, Just sort of like the North Korea situation, which everyone's heralding this huge peace that I don't think is going to come. Okay, and if we see a world stage lit a flame because of Venezuela, because of U.S. confrontation with Russia, because of if the U.S. invades Venezuela, what if Russia decides, oh, we're just going to take Ukraine then? You know, I mean, I've talked about that, I've theorized that that could be one of the options for Russia. Guys, it's a very serious situation. I feel, I feel like people are just not taking this as serious as they should. As more information about it comes out, I'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. Grab a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies.